How to charge the induction melting furnace? E before loading, carefully confirm the product names and categories of IOs, high elevator materials, and scrap ingots to avoid loading errors. According to the requirements of the production, organization and the variety plan, quantitatively load and record are the alloy. High elevator material and scrap steel ingots loaded into the furnace must not be mixed with other sundries and must not be damp, mud, rain, etc. Then it is strictly forbidden to put the airtight container into the furnace. So when melting the alloy, if the product name and block size of the alloy are the same. The alloy with higher melting point, such as ferromolybdenum, ferrotungsten, etc., should be placed in the middle when charging. And the alloy melting point should be placed on the bottom or upper part for CR alloy. Put the smaller block on the bottom or middle, and the big block on the upper part for melting chromium alloy. When the molten steel level is 500 Hmi from the edge of the furnace moth, in principle, no chromium alloy or other high melting point alloys such as ferromolybdenum, ferrotungsten, etc. are added. If the smelting product needs it, it should be added in batches when adding, then each batch should not exceed 200 Hmi. Before each batch is added, it must be ensured that all the alloys the furnace have been melted before the addition can be continued. Liu when loading the steel ingot, it is required to fill the gap between the steel ingot and the furnace wall with small pieces in order to speed up the melting speed and increase the electromagnetic utilization rate. HTTPS slash slash sound.kg CN slash category slash product slash induction gun melting gun furnace slash induction gun melting gun furnace gun induction gun melting gun furnace HTTPS mao hao liang xie gang SONGDAO KEJIDX CN de mo wang zhi FIRSTFURNCEFGM IL DIAN COM Telephone 86150385463